Thank you once again to South Lion High School Choir and the bands. Please, will you all join me in the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America in remembrance of our fellow Americans who have perished serving our great republic. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good job, guys. <laughs> On behalf of our VFW commander, John Anderson, where you at, John? Raise your hand. And the American Legion commander, incoming. Where are you at? Raise your hand, sir. There he is, side by side. Oh, I want to thank you and the South Lion area communities for being here to observe our Memorial Day. A day where we remember those who have died in the service of this great nation. Your presence here today is a ray of hope that we do not forget the sacrifices of men and women who have stood up for our freedom. Our society is very busy. Many Americans may not remember, remember the significance of why we are gathered across these graves today. Some may, may be enjoying a morning of fishing because they can. Some may be looking forward to a day of picnics or family gatherings because they can. Some may be shopping because the deals are great and because they can. Some may be simply sleeping in because they can. But let's pause for a moment for those who cannot. Let us remember our fallen comrades from World War I, World War II, Korea, Vietnam, Iraq, Afghanistan, and the other hostile areas where American servicemen have laid down their very lives because we can. I fear this day will not be a day of remembrance, but simply the first day of summer. Parades across the country have been canceled, some due to perceived inconvenience, some have been canceled because no veterans participate, some communities are ending the tradition after a countless number of years. And yet, some communities can't afford to sponsor a parade or ceremonies to honor the dead. The costs have skyrocketed to support this day. Some politicians and activist groups have also made this day of honor difficult. They threaten to violate the solemnity of the day with their own causes by shouting, screaming, and throwing tantrums in the name of their cause. And while many, many of us grossly dislike this, it is a right that every service member has defended. It seems America has just started to forget. Some Americans have put war out of their mind. It's messy, it's bloody. Why deal with it when we can shift our focus to Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, TikTok, or 300 channels of entertainment? Why would we want to remember the dead? Why indeed? Because we have the freedom to disagree 
to agree, to believe in God, to act in a play, to drive across the country, to have picnics on a Monday, to make this day more than any other ordinary day. So as you head out today, remember those who were part of those freedoms. Although their names are written in stone, we should not forget their stories, their families, their loved ones, and their sacrifice. We are the ray of hope. We are here to remember. Share that with someone who is not here today. Keep the soldiers, sailors, airmen, and Marines in your thoughts today. Your prayers tonight and your freedom to be every day. At this time, I'd like to introduce our chaplain for today's ceremony from the South Lion Masonic Lodge 319. Chaplain, will you please give us your divine blessing? Chuck. Chuck Plater. I had a really down with the Today, as we remember those who have been lost while protecting the freedoms we enjoy every day, let us remember their families and loved ones. Please join me in prayer. Most glorious God, we thank you for the rights and freedoms you have granted to us and for those that have paid the ultimate price to defend those freedoms. Please watch over all of us, most especially those in active military service. Bless their homes and fill their lives with your peace, hope, and strength. In your name we pray. Amen. Mark. We're showing my age. I don't think I had glasses last year. Uh, at this time, I would like to acknowledge a uh, representative from, I'm going to get it wrong, Alyssa Slotkin's office. She does not want to speak. She is representing. Senator, right? Yes. Uh, at this time, I'd like to introduce our mayor, who has, I heard a two and a half vote. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. I'd like to start off with a lot of thank yous, because something like this doesn't just happen um, willy-nilly without the effort of a lot of folks. So um, let's start with our friends at the VFW Post 1224, our friends at the American Legion Post 338. Of course, Dana Johnson, the Johnson family, this parade uh, does not happen for the last 45 years plus uh, without them. So thank you a ton to them. Absolutely. All of our first responders over at South Line Police, South Line Fire, our good friends at Salem Township, Green Oak Township, and our friends over at Lyon Township Fire for being here today. The city staff and DPW of the city of South Lyon, our friends at Phillips Funeral Home, the South Lyon Cable Commission to be here to record everything, our friends at the Freemasons, and also the South Lyon Kiwanis. This morning, we gather here on this solemn occasion to honor and remember the brave men and women who made the ultimate sacrifice in their service to our great nation. We gather here today to pay tribute to their unwavering dedication, their selflessness, and their profound love for our country. To the families of our fallen heroes, we extend our heartfelt condolences and unwavering support. Know that we stand beside you not only on Memorial Day, but every day. Your loved ones will forever be remembered as the true heroes that they are. Thank you all for being here today. God bless our fallen heroes, our veterans, our active duty service members, the city of South Lyon, and the United States of America. Thank you. The mayor forgot to uh, mention 150 years for South Lyons. Hundred and fifty years, South Lion. That's amazing. 
awesome. Now I'd like to introduce Andrea Phillips and Matt Scheffler from Phillips Funeral Home. Joining them, we have the uh, Civil Air Patrol. And this will be in remembrance for the veterans that we have lost this year. Phillips Funeral Home is honored to be a part of today's Memorial Day ceremony. Today we honor and remember 70 local veterans that have passed away this last year, consisting of 42 soldiers, 14 sailors, 8 airmen, and 6 Marines. It is our hope that the families of our local veterans will find peace and comfort, knowing that we gather here today to honor and remember them. We also remember the countless number of veterans that have gone before them. At this time, we will read the names of our departed veterans, and as each name is read, the memorial bowl, the memorial bell will be tolled in their memory. Soldiers from the United States Army, John Paul McNamara, Russell Vale, Arthur Colmeyer, Eric Reeves, Joseph Comps, Virgil Burkeen, Michael Hapala, Eugene Kraus, Timothy Johnson, William Cohn Sr., Daryl Gregg Sr., Thomas Devlin, Edward Sales, William Calabrese Jr., Don Paversky, Franklin Burgett, James Mickle, Robert Ehrlich, Ray Mancini, Richard Lloyd, Dan Tyrell, Ronald Pollock, Delbert Westlake, Kenneth Hart, Clyde Latin Dress, Vernon McBride, George Ethminian, James D. Pasquale, William Southerton, Carl Minugian, Michael Kearns, Albert Letourneau, Francis Malzuski, Fred Allison, Ronald Chisa, Jack Holland, Larry Coffin, Beth Fordyce, Norman Harding, Michael Othier, Charles Bussey, Leander Clear, Sailors from the United States Navy, Michael Peters II, Francis Lopez, Donald McLennan, Richard Gabori, James Matties, Darwin Smith, Roy Linder, George Nichols, David Dempsey, Jerry Stabler, Byron Caswell Sr., Harvey Miller, 
Donald Shaver. Dean David Johnston. Airmen from the U.S. Air Force. Jack Renwick. Tony Henry. Robert Roddy. Ron Touchstone. James Shivman. Raymond Beckstein. Vernon Blair. Dwayne DeFresney. And the Marines. Michael Shepard. Raymond Walton. Charles Kozer. John F. Betley. Gerald Williams. And Alan Irvine. Again, it has been an honor for Phillips Funeral Home to be a part of today's <coughs> memorial services. And to our local veterans that we have remembered today and to their families, we say to you on this occasion, not only will we always remember you, not only will we always be grateful to you, but always you will be in our hearts and you will be in our prayers. Also for the veterans' families that we have honored today, there are roses for each family. Also, if you are remembering a veteran also in your family, there are roses for you there as well. Feel free to take them after the memorial services. Thank you. Just to add on to that, I lost a friend of mine. Uh, we were in the same war together. He lives out of state, but he was a member of our VFW post and would always visit when he came into town. So uh, Gary Kroll, thinking of you now, he was, a, he was a great member of our post. Attention. Oh, got you touch. Officers and, and members of Lovewell Hill Post 1224, Veterans of Foreign Wars of the United States, and the American Leisure, Legion, Scheffler McAvoy Post 338, we will now pay our respects to our deported comrades. In doing, we offer sour tribute to our comrades wherever they may rest. To you, comrades who have departed, we render a silent lasting salute. Present arms. <laughs> Order arms. Dogs. <laughs> All up front. Please introduce yourself and your companion. Brian Chalk, this is Romney. Colleen Smith, this is Kyla. Linus. Jennifer Pashovich Rocco. Judy Long, Miss Pearl.
Oh, you're welcome. Why do we have to On behalf of our glorious republic, for whom our comrades enlisted and serve, the flag of our country was theirs to defend. Its glorious colors shall wave over them in death as in light for everyone to behold. As you look at our flag, remember the white signifies purity and innocence, red, hardiness and valor, and the blue, the color, color of vigilance, perseverance and justice. Our brothers and sisters, we honor this sacrifice today as we have for over 150 years. I didn't skip it, did I? No. I hate it when I do this. <laughs> oh, our military songs. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a year, I forget. <laughs> <laughs> As long as two comrades survive, 
So will the veterans of foreign wars and the American Legion render tribute to our heroic dead. Comrades, on this day, forever dedicated to our heroic dead, we are assembled once again to express sincere respect for those lives that were given. This monument represents the resting place of many departed comrades. <coughs> many you have heard of, others you, you do not know, but they will be remembered on this day. Wherever the body of a comrade lies, the ground is hollowed. Our presence here is in solemn commemoration to all of them and to their devotion to duty and to their, cur to their courage and patriotism. By their services on land, on sea, and in the air, they have made us our debtors. For the flag of our nation still fries free over the land. Comrades, in the silent land beyond, wherever your mortal remains may rest, these psalm services will be hold in tribute to you. I was going to read a poem, but I think I will skip that this year. <laughs> Soon you will hear three volleys of rifles firing. This comes from an old battlefield custom. <laughs> The two warring sides would cease hostility to clear their dead from the battlefield, and the firing of three volleys meant the dead that had been properly cared for and the side was ready to resume the battle. We will now re-render a traditional rifle salute to our comrades. Detail. Present. Ready. Fire! 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 Present arms! It's my honor to call the leader of our Boy Scouts, Larry Ledbetter. This gentleman was out here with the, with the Scouts on Saturday, and I think it was probably the best turnout we have ever had putting flags out. Okay. You have the floor, Larry. Yeah, I get to talk about our flag. You know, it's appropriate that all of these flags were put out to honor the veterans that are interred here in this cemetery. And it was, it was really an honor to do that. On Saturday, last Saturday, over 40 people, young and old, came out here to put flags on the veterans' graves. Some were scouts, some were the robotics team, and I want to give a shout out to the Flying Toasters, if they're here. They were great, they did a great job. Steve Kennedy, Steve Kennedy led the way, and a lot of uh, good people were out here, other citizens that came out to do that. It was truly a humbling experience. There, there, are, there are Civil War graves in here, World War I, World War II, and uh, Korea, Vietnam, and, and others. And uh, what it points out is that South Lyon has a history 
of being involved, not standing back and waiting for things to happen. People got out there and did things. They were part of the solution to the problems. Also, scouts of 228 put up all the flags in downtown South Lyon, 72 of them. Those you've probably seen them, they look great. They're brand new flags. They were purchased, assembled, and installed by Eagle Scout Will Gen Genman and Eagles and uh, his crew of scouts. Uh, Will's brother Ethan is also an Eagle Scout, and he's now active on active duty as a United States Marine. Hurrah! Right. This year marks the 50th anniversary of the establishment of Troop 228, sponsored by the Methodist Church. And uh, that, that since 1973. And Troop 38, I, I hope we've got some tro Troop 38 scouts here. Uh, that, they're sponsored by the Presbyterian Church. That started in 1927, wow. 96 years ago. So that's an amazing, still active troop. <laughs> I believe scouting has given many young people a good start in life to be good citizens and confident individuals. That's the main goal of being a scout leader. I am proud to say that being a scout leader of Boy Scouts has made me a better person. Uh, we pledge our sacred honor to live by the scout oath and law. I'd like all scouts and scouters, present or past, who will now rise and and render the scout o scout sign. I'm going to ask all the scouts and scouters, past and present, you too. <laughs> uh, we're going to say the scout oath, and I'm going to I'm going to lead it off. On my honor, I will do my best to do my duty to God and my country, and to obey the scout law, to help other people at all times, to keep myself physically strong, mentally awake, and morally straight. Two. Now I'm going to ask you to join me with the Scout Law, uh, and I'll also render the Scout Salute. As a Scout, a Scout is trustworthy, loyal, helpful, friendly, courteous, kind, obedient, cheerful, thrifty, brave, clean, and reverent. Two. Thank you all Scouts and Scouters. Please be seated. One of our missions as scouts is to uh, properly, our Troop 228 has put, uh, led the way with uh, retirement flags. We do this at our campouts, and we are going to do some at the hall tonight. I mean, not tonight, in a few minutes. Uh, <laughs> so uh, uh, we'll have services. We're, we've got everything set up over there, and we'll, uh, if you want to take part in that, we'd like to welcome you to come back there. Uh, a ceremony for disposing of a flag should be uh, very uh, solemn and uh, done with respect. Uh, throwing a flag in the trash is not the right way to go. Uh, the, the VFW Hall offers a, 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 a box that was also an Eagle Scout project uh, by Jonathan Smallwood. He, he built that box for the VFW Hall so people can drop their flags off there. So we like to make sure that they are done uh, in a proper way. I, my last thought is I'd like I'd like everybody. Whoops. That's all right. Sorry, Kenny. No, that's all right. I get I get carried away. <laughs> I'd like to make everybody. Uh, I always try to do something like this. Make a new friend today. No one can have too many friends, and may God bless us all. I would like to give a sincere thank you to Dana Johnston, her daughter Kelly, for organizing this parade. Without them, this does not get done. And as soon as it's over today, they start up for next year. So Dana's been doing this for over 45 years. Please keep her in your prayers. Also, to my good friend James Planky, take a stand. I'm not going to let you talk. James.
Jim set up everything here today. PA system, flags, all this. So he doesn't get the recognition he needs, and he's still my right-hand man no matter what. Yeah, give him a hand. Please give a big round of applause to our high school band. Yeah. 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 Oh, come up here and introduce yourself. I don't have that written down. Come on. Oh, turn the bell. Where are you at? The Southline East and Southline High School bands, both myself and Mr. Okaskis, under direction of Ms. Agni. <laughs> to our band, get the choir back up here. Come on. Where are you guys at? You guys get front and center. Definitely is where you can. Hello, I'm Andrew Hoppe Kanavala, Director of Choirs at Southline High School. <laughs> to our police, firefighters, we all thank you. We have our Civil Air Patrol. We haven't seen them in a while. Sue, so would you like to come up? <laughs> I'm Chaplain Mark Bell with the uh, South Lion Civil Air Patrol. We have the commander here, Steve Gwazdek, he's with our vehicle. We have Captain Sherry White, who started this squadron just a year ago, and it's already one of the fastest growing squadrons in Michigan. So thank you for your support. To our mayor, I don't know if he's still here, Dan, thanks for coming out again. And you kept it on the three minutes. <laughs> to our representative, Alyssa Slotkin. <laughs> this concludes our ceremony for today. I would like to invite everyone to visit our post, which is located on McCaddy Street, East. 125 one, East McCaddy. He gets all his mail there, I think. <laughs> Which is, <coughs> it's right behind Lefties. It used to be Brown's root beer. Uh, VFW and American Legion are providing luncheon and beverages free of charge to all that would like to come and visit. Thank you for attending this morning. God bless you all, and God bless the United States of America.